It was always going to be an uphill struggle, but the CLA finally threw in the towel yesterday afternoon. The game fair at Beaver Castle cancelled. The implications for this decision are far reaching. Guest houses, caterers, taxi drivers. For many, the CLA is the golden goose who this year failed to deliver. And there could be casualties along the way. Andrew Crawford is the man who made that heartbreaking decision. But there are questions to be answered because so much rides on this event. The comments I'm going to throw at you are, why didn't you tell us earlier? Surely you must be able to prepare better knowing full well that the British summer brings rain with it. Yeah, I, I fully appreciate um, that people want to know as, as soon as possible. We looked at the conditions. We've really stayed off, protected the site as best we can during the build. In terms of our ground guys, we've pretty much done everything we needed to do without causing too much damage. This week, the exhibitors were starting to arrive uh, and we made the decision um, that we had two days of sunny, warm, windy conditions that may give us a chance for it to dry out. We had to hold for those conditions. Uh, we held all vehicle movements off to give it the best chance to recover. And then yesterday afternoon, we went out, we inspected again after that period, and we knew straight away when we went out that you put a vehicle on there, it's going to sink. Is the CLA about having a blast off house in the background or should it go somewhere where there is hard standing? Are there such places that have enough hard standing to cater for the size of show that you deal with? Uh, honestly there aren't. Um, you know I, I have heard people say why don't you go to a showground site. I, I used to work at the Newark showground which is one of the, the the busiest showground sites in the country and probably with the most hard standing areas being a former airfield. In total, that adds up to 160 acres. Our show is 600 acres of land we need. There's just no way on earth that we could go to any showground in this country. Stretching back behind me is Gunmakers Row. It should have been full of stands, full of stock, and customers eager to find those special bargains. As it is, the game fair's been cancelled, and that must have huge implications for the trade's bottom line. We will be out to the tune of probably about 20,000, quite comfortably. Quite uncomfortably. Yeah uncomfortably yeah yeah and then sort of down on the trading as a result of that as well as well as offering some retail therapy for thousands of visitors there's all the entertainment family fun competitions world champion shot George Digweed who's preparing the site for the British Grand Prix this weekend thinks it's a great shame I've been going probably 23 years I think it is now to the game fair and and with the advent of John Bidwell sorting the Top Gun shootout out on a on a Sunday afternoon it's always nice to go up there and uh, and promote the sport of clay shooting in front of large crowds, which uh, we've always looked forward to doing. So it'll be disappointing not to be there. But, um, you know, these things happen. And, uh, and I think everybody's health and safety and the, and the safety of the event has got to come paramount before, uh, you know, running it just for the sake of it at all costs. One thing the CLA has been applauded for is choosing to pull out now and not when the doors have already been thrown open. It's worse for it to happen during the event. You know, and it might be, there's all sorts of rumours of ways around the underwriters or keeping the underwriters on side, ticking the boxes as it were. I think the CLA couldn't have, the, the Country Landowners Association couldn't have done anything more really than what they have done. And they did the gentlemanly thing and cancelled it as soon as it was possible. Beavers had millions spent on infrastructure to try and avoid rain stopping play. But even this was not up to the job. There's only so much infrastructure you can put in. You need to bear in mind that this is a country estate um, and they don't want, you know, tarmacked avenues going all over their lovely green fields. Um, it, you know, it is parkland effectively and we have to a duty of care to, to the estate to make sure that we look after it and treat it in a certain manner. So what now? Well, the planning for the CLA Game Fair 2013 is already underway and some of the trade are not giving up without a fight. York guns are bouncing back with an event over the Game Fair weekend and we'll bring you details in next week's programme at 7 o'clock on Wednesday night. It'll be part of a full national roundup of country shows and game fairs in the coming month. If you'd like yours to be included, please email it to james at fieldsportschannel.tv. Talk to James. In the meantime, the partly built site has to be brought down, allowing Beaver Castle's scars to heal, which won't take long, especially when the only crowds visiting this weekend have web feet. David Wright in Beaver Castle for Field Sports Britain News.